Here we are at Housing Works, a weekly addiction. And this is the best. This is our local fun shop. Housing Works. Oh, can I have the best stuff? They have, what, 10, 12 stores in every neighborhood, and they're always changing, and they always have sales. So it's so much fun. You come and, and you don't know whether there's going to be a 50% sale on all women's clothing or 35% sale on all pants. So that makes it exciting. So we frequent all of them. It's like our sport of choice. You just scour the place and you see what turns you on. So for one, can I show you what I just found? A leather dress. It's like butter. It is so soft. Beautiful detail stitching. Nothing I've ever worn or even seen. The other best part is, look, I can open this like this so I can actually walk and go in the subway. This is a little mundane. Or is it over the top? Not that we're worried about over the top. <laughs> what do you think, guys? Any feedback from the audience? Yeah, yeah, nothing like an orange boa. <laughs> You know how I love orange. Orange is neutral. Orange works with everything. Oh, it's just... And then having tomato tights on, then, you know, a little bit of orange with the tomato makes sense. This beautiful fur. And I'm not big on fur, but when you buy it in a thrift store and it's secondhand, it's already there. So, and the same with leather. At least you're recycling and revisiting. It's a sweet little Angora sweater. Not exactly my style, but it's kind of cute. It's very cute, and very cozy. Oh, 25 bucks. It's got a little glitz here. That's a little too glitzy for me, but it's quite a piece. Copper sequins. It's too real. It's too much like a, a real lady's garment. It's not fun enough. So it's not only about the fabric and the surface, but it's also about the shape of the garment. And after you've been thrifting a while, you know, you kind of have a developed eye and your eye just catches things, especially if you know what you're looking for and what your style is. When I lived in California, we thrifted all the time. That was in the 60s and 70s. And when I came back to New York in the late 70s, I lived near a Salvation Army and that's always where I went. But look at this little treasure. Oh my God. That's a treasure. I would find a way to put these pieces down and then put something around the neck and wear it as jewelry. It's just such a yummy color. It's like caramel and butter mixed together. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to cook cuts of meat. I don't know how to identify them because I've been a vegetarian most of my life. But I just think this is a yummy piece. I'm not big on clear colors, but just add a little grayness to any color and that's my palette. <gasps> what the heck? That is wonderfully bizarre. I don't even know what this is. It's like fake suede. But, I mean, it feels like armor, but it gives me ideas of doing, taking old sweaters and turning them into a tubular bodice. Look at the back, it's quite nice. We could try this on for the fun of it. So here it is the traditional way. Not very interesting. It's simple. My whole life I've been opposed to black because I figure there's such a fabulous range of color. Why does one need to go to black? It's much more fun this way than the other way. But, you know, I have this motto that, you know, if you can't wear something upside down, inside out, and backwards, it's not worth owning. Maybe with a big cinch belt here would be really cool. <laughs> what did I learn today? <laughs> that it's worth trying anything on because you just never know till you put it on. I mean, that's the thrill of thrifting. Have fun.